It is the beginning of another day for Lynette Kamau and her eight-month-old son. And while no day is the same, one thing has remained constant, her presence, even during what would normally be work hours. Like many offices across the world, Lynette's office introduced a work-from-home program last year to contain the spread of COVID-19. Um, Often, this is where you will find her, on Monday to Friday, in her living room, uh, a laptop computer now. in front of her. I'm with my baby here, <laughs> but anyway. My so, little assistant. Yes, my little assistant. Baby on her laps or latched on her breast. For her, the pandemic has offered an opportunity mm-hmm. for her to breastfeed her son on demand. I would not have been able to do six months uh, consecutively like that if I was not at home. Um, and and I, I found the value because I, I say when I go to hospital and I find he's gained weight, it's like I've won the lottery. I'm like, yes, I'm doing something good. Uh, yeah, and he's been healthy. Uh, he's been happy. While there is no research on how COVID-19 lockdowns affected breastfeeding in Kenya, the African Population and Health Research Center notes that job losses resulting from the lockdowns were likely to force mothers to stop breastfeeding. There are some women who've lost their jobs, which means that they're more likely to leave their houses to look for opportunities. And this also presents another challenge when it comes to um, infant feeding. In Kenya, mothers are entitled to three months maternity leave, meaning for any mother wishing to exclusively breastfeed their baby, she must plan how to continue offering their child breast milk while still continuing to work. This has in many cases forced mothers to turn to infant baby formula or to win their babies early. The World Health Organization and UNICEF indicate that the pandemic may have disrupted breastfeeding support services, crucial in ensuring that mothers exclusively breastfeed. Lynette says while physical visits are limited, she has found value in the support of those at home with her. Uh, my mother has been a huge support system in from advising on what to have nutrition-wise. My husband has been a great support system as well. He would wake up um, sometimes and let me sleep and bottle feed the baby. Recent statistics indicate that over the last 12 years, breastfeeding rates in Kenya have gone up by 30%. It remains to be seen how significantly those numbers will be affected by COVID-19 and the health protocols put in place to contain its spread. Sarah Kimani, SBC News, Kenya.